This is why Crossway is becoming my favorite publisher, even more than local guys, even more than Alan. Uh, I just, they get everything so right. They get the important things right. Um, this is their preaching Bible, and check out the flop to that. Uh, this is like an Allen. It has a little less flop only because it's like thicker. Um, this is about $240 when you add in all the shipping for an Allen long primer. This uh, is published in China, but feels as good as Youngblood. I mean, it really does. It's, it's incredible, guys. This is marked down from $250 on Amazon to about $119. Uh, this is so worth getting, uh, especially if you've ever felt the flexibility of a crossway. They're still durable, but they just melt in your hands. They, they're just, it's even more flexible than the NIV Heritage you've heard me rave over. Uh, both of these are goat skin. And this is a preaching Bible in calf skin that we can compare to later from Thomas Nelson. I would take this Bible over all of these, even over my long primer. Uh, for the amount of deal that you get for your money, unless you're just in love with flowing ribbons that have to be giant. I, I like when they're kind of tucked away. I don't even have them out yet. Um, I like that they have small ribbons at Crossway. I think if you get an Omega, they give you four and they give you uh, bigger ones. But check that out. It's verse by verse. And the paper is great. I want to say it's like a 31 GSM, 32. It's, it's actually pretty... Pretty thick paper, and the ghosting is negligible. It's line matched, uh, just in case you, you want that. Uh, I know Allen's do not line match, and um, if you compared it to more of a reader's Bible, you know, a reader's Bible would be more like this. But uh, again, this they just do an excellent job. They've got the raised ribs that they're known for. If you've ever held like a... Um, Crossway ESV, like their heirloom, uh, like their thin line. It's more of a like, the, it's more pebbly than this one. This almost feels as smooth as Mariva calfskin. It's, it's really incredible for goat skin. It's a good thickness and um, it's just flexible. Like look at, look at how this wants to move on the text block. I mean, that, that's just a nice Smithstone Bible. You can see the signatures forming over here with the beautiful red under gold. And they just do an excellent job. It's, it's about two inches thick. Um, it's in that perfect like 10 by seven inch range that's uh, full size, but not overly big. Um, it, it, this would be more like a six ish by nine ish kind of handheld hand size. This is bigger than hand size. I would call it more full size, but definitely one you could rock to church. And again, if you've ever held like their compact heirloom, it's more of a grainy goat skin, but it's also um, super flexible and supple like this. And and you know, remember, we're we're talking quality goat skin. I mean, this is smooth, supple, soft. It's it's checks off all the boxes. Um, if you want a grainier like Highland goat skin, you can get that here, and uh, it's hard to beat that. Some people prefer the long primer. I just read the ESV more than I read the King James. And um, sometimes I feel like, what if I have jelly on my hands or something? I, I almost don't want to touch this one, um, but the paper is a nice creamy off-white. Whereas here, um, it's also a nice little creamy off-white. I want to say it's a brighter white here on this uh, NIV Heritage from Zondervan. The font size is great. Uh, I want to say it's about a 10 point. And here's their pledge. And I like how they put that on here. A 9.75 point, like put the GSM too, so we don't have to guess. Um, let's see, thick paper. Again, I'd probably say 32, 33 GSM. And uh, lifetime guarantee, extra wide margins. It's got a concordance, so it lays flat nicely. Um, for instance, if you're in the front of the Bible, it also lays flat pretty nice. We're, uh, we're not even in Genesis yet, and it's already laying down for you. Um, but that'll break in more. It's just that these are so flexible. They just feel so good in the hands. And, uh, yeah, there's the ribbon. There's two of them. And, yeah, it's not a big one. It's just kind of out of the way and nice. And, guys, it feels like a $250 Bible. Um, it's it just what, what a great deal. I think if you go to Christian Book... Uh, there's, excuse me for a second, they have 
a compact one marked down from 229 to like $62. Um, so check out christianbook.com. Uh, again, that's the more pebbly one, but just as pliable and just melts in your hands like these crossways are known to do even more than Allen. I would argue Allen's are a little more durable, so maybe, you know, but these still will last for decades. So, like, I mean, come on. What a, what a great deal. Uh, they just do an excellent job. Uh, you can see the verse by verse looks great. Let's go to the Psalms. You know, I always like to go to Proverbs and Psalms. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. This was supposed to come on the 15th. It came a, uh, a week early. But um, they just do a great job with Bibles and... Uh, you know, it feels, in a way, I mean, just as good as the Mariva Caskin I have from Allen, if you remember that uh, black and silver one I did a, a review on. But uh, this one is marked down from like 150 to 90 on Amazon, and you get, but I would argue just to pay 30 more bucks, you have a way more quality Bible. This binding feels a little loose, like it's flexible, but almost to the point of, I feel like that this binding might last 20 years. I feel like this binding will last like 50. Uh, and I feel like this would last easily 50, like even this just will last like 70 or 80. But um, I mean, it depends how hot, I'm pretty nice on my Bibles, but um, they just do a great job at, at Crossway. Check out their Omega, but you're gonna be spending more for, for something like that, right? Um, I want to say some Omegas are around 300. So whenever you see a quality goatskin crossway go under 150 or 200, take a look at it. it it's really it's really worth it. Um, now I feel like uh, some of my Bibles have <laughs> become moot because I have this one now. But here's a uh, iron calfskin one from Thomas Nelson. Feels nice and smooth. It's not as flexible, but um, it does have cooler ribbons and. Uh, it's also verse by verse and looks pretty bold. And if you compare it to the font, I would say both are about 10 point font. And this one seems a tad bolder for the Thomas Nelson, but uh, it's also the same size. It probably lays a little bit flatter if you're really looking for a preaching Bible um, or just a teaching Bible that you could you know, teach a Bible study out of. This one will hold a little more floppy in your hand. You know, when you're holding it, it'll be, it'll it'll want to rest a little bit more flexibly. So if you're looking for like a little more stiffness in the spine, Thomas Nelson seemed to be good for that. So did Church Bible Publisher. And you can get some really good deals from local Church Bible Publisher as well. I just noticed their, their spines tend to be very uh, stiff. Uh, this is stiff, but like not as much so. Again, you're going to get, if you're leaning more towards flexible Bibles like I do, look at Crossway and look at Allen. It's just incredible. Of course, you're not going to get a deal like you would at local for like a $62 Bible or something um, normally. But they just do an outstanding job. And this is why Crossway is becoming my favorite Bible publisher. Uh, in the back, they do have some maps and they have a concordance so that even, you know, here we are in the, in, let's go to Revelation. Well, even in the concordance, it's wanting to lay pretty flat. It is an edge line Bible, so there's going to be a bit of a bump there, but they have the table of weights and measures and a pretty extensive concordance. So it, that way, when you're reading here in like First Timothy, you got, you got some Bible back here to handle. It's not like wanting to slap shut on you. And, and you got, so it's one you can cradle up and read, and it's one you can use for teaching and preaching. Uh, they've got a few blank pages front and back you can use for Bible study notes or sermon notes. Um, these maps are pretty glossy, maybe not the best to write on, but it's still nice. Um, I, I don't really use the maps a whole lot. I, um, I'm really impressed by this Bible. 
I mean, look at look at how it just wants to roll up like that. I mean, it's just not a lot of vibes that can, again, like, I mean, it just wants to be as pliable and just form to your hands. And it's just gonna get that loved character to it. The more you use it, it's gonna break in and just become your Bible within like a year's time of reading. So just amazing job by Crossway.